in the uh, immortal words of Brandon Wardell, it's lit. <laughs> oh, whoa, nice. You know, whoa. He lit, made that man. up? He came up with it. <laughs> Brandon watched the documentary. Saying swag is Brandon Wardell. He came up with that. <laughs> what documentary? The the pedophile documentary. He's like, dude, I'm freaking out right now. I was like, why? Because you're getting flashbacks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh. we just had to uh, restart the podcast because I had to deal with a customer service issue at the post office. Mm-hmm. Little did they know, I got my fucking powerful slacks on, pulled all the way the fuck up. Yes, sir. I got my Panama hat on. I'm ready oh, to handle yes. customer service issues. Mm-hmm. Your hoodie tucked into your pants. Yeah, dude. That's, That's a, a good look. look. We, we were saying before this started how much fun it is to look like a fucking idiot. Oh, oh That's yeah. what I, I try to look ugly in every picture I take. Yeah, and well, post. you know, and in real life. And in real life. No, that's not true. Every waking moment, kind of cute. You succeed. I don't know. Yeah, I think my look is working. You've actually you say that, but I took a whole horrible picture of you, and you tried to get me to not post it, and Which I posted one? it anyway. The one where you're wearing that Janus films, and your nose looks like oh, it was a fish I look lens. so skinny. That's the only thing I I really <laughs> worry like about. If certain yeah. angles, well, you, I'm fine looking not, ugly. We're not going to pretend like you're not an insane narcissist that has no, a carefully no. curated. Oh, okay. Type let's of- okay. Let's go down that road. <laughs> let's go down that fucking narcissist road. Okay. First of all, we're all narcissists. Second of all, but you're an insane you con- narcissist. An insane narcissist. Yeah. You constantly talk about your body. Both of you do. Well, we I mean, we all do. You both, both have body image issues. We both have had things. We have to. First of all, I was raised on. Um, uh, uh, on I was breakfast only cereal. allowed to have gushers. <laughs> yeah. It was a very, very traditional family. Yeah, it's true. You know, and the, right. the toll that has on a young man's blood sugar. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had me and Stav. Me and Stav have a a narrative of self discovery and triumph. Mm-hmm. You, it's true. You're just a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you just a, some, some right. unearned sense of you know. Yeah, continue this hilarious bit. There's okay. no triumph, dude. Yeah. I had to overcome, dude. You know, I had to all overcome. I ate was chicken overcame. nuggets. Honestly, all I ate for literally one year of my life was gyro meat, mm-hmm. like the pre-sliced and yeah. uh, and like flounder fillets. <laughs> I wouldn't eat anything. I was in like third grade. Okay, first of all, and I made my mom only. I only ate that. We're all slum dogs. Okay, I'm we're all dog. overcoming. I'm a slum dog trillionaire in different ways. Um, a cum dog trillionaire. Yes, cum dog. Cum dog trillionaire. trillionaire. That's cool. Well, anyways, me and Stav look pretty good. I'd say we got <laughs> good outfits. We got. I think I'm all sweatsuit all day, bitch. Whatever. Yeah. That's it for the rest of the winter. I'm moleskin pants pulled all the way up over my sweatshirt. I just bought some. I just bought more champion sweats. Yeah, I figure if I look like an old enough man, people can't get mad at me for being racist. Honestly, with that hat on. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the pic we just took. You look old as shit. Like, yeah. it's hilarious. <laughs> like, you can't really tell. You're making a weird old guy face. Yeah. I look young and virile and, like, sexual, like a sexual, like, in my sexual prime. Yeah. But you look old. Dude, fuck, fuck the post office, man. Yeah. You really got to go to war with them, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, get them to just deliver the goddamn mail. Yeah, get the you guns and, out. And uh, 95-year-old uh, Fox News uh, watch, That's watchers. That's right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Get that bit out. <laughs> that genius ass. Oh, <laughs> it's one of these, whatever, the people it's like It's just it. one of Continue. these days <laughs> when you don't want to wake up. Um, you don't seventh penis. Because your co-host isn't any good at it. <laughs> and you want to know why. You want to justify. Kicking out him off the show. <laughs> <laughs> no human contact. And if you're in Iraq, thank God we don't have a contract. Because that means we can fire at a motherfucker. Well, it wouldn't even be a fire. I replace him with a different gay. <laughs> what kind it's of gay guy? He said, she said. Bullshit. Well, an out gay guy, first of all. Yeah, you'd have to be out. I mean, accuse him of being straight the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just accuse Ian of being straight. Yeah. Not liking trans prostitutes. Yeah. But there's no doubt that he does. Ian told me he got outed on a show... Like years ago, like someone was bringing him up, and they were like, "Yeah, I saw this guy on Grinder, but he pretends he's not gay." And then Ian Fidance. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, that's fucking horrifying. Yeah, the guy brought him up like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really cruel. <laughs> it is. Was Ian out at all at the time? No, or no? I mean oh. Ian's still not really out. I mean, he he's sort of is. Out he only he point. only fuck he only sucks guys' dicks if they have long hair and lipstick. <laughs> 
So he's still <laughs> That's not gay dude yeah. No By the traditional fucking He's yeah, like yeah. He's if like you Recognize uh, like, that that's a woman So but being gay is A stampede of antelope Right And mm-hmm. Ian is Mufasa uh, yeah. And yeah. Scar yes. is his homosexual impulses <laughs> 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 I think I can, Ian's like, help me. He's fought them off valiantly yeah, yeah, for a yeah, long yeah. time, but yeah. <laughs> little does he know what, what yeah. those impulses have for him. Right. <laughs> that's Anyways, so that's a nice good. tidy analogy. Yeah, it was I was good. saying they're making a live action version of Lion King coming up. People are already mad about the casting, I think. No, I think, th- is it live action? I thought so. I thought it's just a reboot. Like a cartoon reboot with yeah. new voices? That's what I thought. Yeah, um, I'm how not the fuck really are they gonna be lions? Uh, like Beyonce Broadway? is gonna be a lion. Yeah, dude, it's gonna, it's, be, it's gonna be like they do on Broadway. Where Where they put the puppet like headdress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a puppet show. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, unless you can see Beyonce's titties. It's like how they did Beauty and the Beast. They did a live action Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, but those were people. No, except the for beast, the Beast. Yeah, the Beast isn't a, pe- is a person. Do they have people? So as everyone's like gonna be CGI'd up. I guess. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. If they were like avatars. Yeah, yeah, that'd be hell cool. Yeah, I mean, I thought the lions were already sexual enough in the original Lion King. Oh, I, Nala! I, I, I blame that movie for creating furries. <laughs> the Lion King, because Nala was. So oh yeah, sexy. that scene oh, with the "Can you feel Nala. the love tonight?" and then yeah. the lions are like making out missionary style. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, very similar to Mark Ruffalo in <laughs> The Normal Heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should tack on Tim the end. We should tack on the beginning of. The last no, I already, no, I think I we should throw that it. away. Yeah. Why? Well, half of it was me sitting on hold with the that was fun. with the post office. It's a me funny going bonus. a recap of the Justice League movie for yeah, you. Yeah, that while was Nick a, was on the phone. Yeah, that was funny. That was kind of funny. The mustache thing is funny. Yeah, well, um, you'll never know about it, guys. Whatever. Um, um, you know what was funny? Speaking of like cartoon sex, is like Avatar, where they like they tie their like. Their tails? Their tail pussies together, and yeah. that's how they fuck? Yeah. That was like a whole thing in porn after Avatar, was that there was like Navi Oh, porn. yeah, dude. As soon as Avatar came out, Fleshlight made an alien-style pussy. Did they? That was just like a blue... Yeah, it was for people that wanted to fuck the Navi. Nice. How about, how about I this? I like that the body Novi. type. They got no vagina. Oh, no oh, thanks. Nice. That's yeah. what I say to that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a new Avatar. I would fuck the Navi, dude. so much. They're making dude. a second one. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. Yeah. Giovanni it's Rubisi's a shame that James Cameron isn't also one of the pedophiles. Yeah, yeah, that would he's, be awesome. Yeah, he's too autistic. Although, yeah. he just Terminator's sucks. good. He's just, I don't think he has sexual function. Yeah, he just sucks dick. That's why he has to go to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> to fuck one of those weird little... <laughs> to fuck fish, one of those fish, fish that like, look like aliens. Yeah. A lot of teeth That's and what a little lamp into. on its head. Ted one of those Cruise vampire, looking ass fish? Vampire octopi. <laughs> 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 I don't Ooh. fuck my goth mall girlfriend octopus... That's why he's always down there. He's hanging his dick out the little window. That's right, dude. That's a good ass <laughs> joke. I know a lot of people at home are probably like, "What the fuck is?" I'm not even saying anything. It's kind of just lazy. No, no, no. You're incorrect. Nah, brother. No, Wait until you see that bit on SNL: James Cameron fucking a vampire <laughs> octopus in the mouth. <laughs> People are like, get him. Resistance. <laughs> you know, we will we will overcome <laughs> Donald Trump by watching James Cameron fuck a starfish. <laughs> Yo, you know they got a they got SpongeBob on Broadway now? Mm-hmm. And it's just they? people? There's He's not even in a yellow suit or nothing. It's a guy with fucking just a, a pompadour in uh brown slacks and a How white about shirt. This? SpongeBob, you being used to mop up a bunch of cum. That's that Whoa. is good. Against his will. Yeah. Yeah. It's soaking into my body. Just tank it, you fucking bitch. What, is, is what, that is, what does SpongeBob Man sound like? Word. What yeah. does SpongeBob sound like? Ah, he annoying. sounds like annoying as fuck. Does he sound like this? Sort of. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's but less good. Jewish. I don't I never watched Spongebob so Do you remember Rocco's Modern wow. Life His friend Philbert I wanna fuck your ass That's Squidward Philbert was like A Jewish turtle Oh boy I'm, I'm delicious I'm getting delicious <sighs> Yeah That show was sick Rocco's Modern Life Yeah yeah Do you remember the music Adam's Cosmo? favorite show Was Suck Cocko's Modern <laughs> Damn Life it, I was, <laughs> Damn dude I was gonna say Fucko's hard ass dick <laughs> <laughs> Adam also watched that show <laughs> They came on one after the other. My parents wouldn't let me. And then, uh, and then of course, Young Sheldon, which they gave Adam an advanced copy of, which is to this day his favorite show. You like uh, Young Sheldon? 
Uh, yeah, I really like Adam. It. Adam was sat, sat at home watching Big Bang Theory, and he's like, "What if Sheldon was young? Why couldn't there be a young version of this man?" Sheldon Adelson. Yeah, got the him. The guy who raped young Sheldon. That was another. That's another callback to an episode like twenty episodes ago. Yeah, yeah, that was a funny joke. I guess one of the the actors from Charles in Charge said, "I was raped repeatedly on the set of Charles in Charge." I want Scott Bayo to say something about it. Oh damn! Wow. Yeah. Charles in and, charge. And Scott Baio is not saying it. Well, Scott, Scott Baio's too stoked about Trump being the president. Yeah. Charles in charge. Well, it looks like Scott Gayo <laughs> or Scott Baio was Scott Gayo for a Scott five year old Zay. Yeah. <laughs> Ga- Gayo's Gayo Scott gave it five stars. That's good, man. Yeah. I, I just gave this bit about Scott Baio. That, Scott Bayo opens a food company. He's like, Scott Bayo here for Scott Bayo's Biscettios. <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> Scotty Bayo's Biscettios. <laughs> and that was the whole joke. <laughs> it was, it, it was in my it. it was in my weed years. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's good shit. I was cracking myself up the, the last night imagining doing a bit on stage where I talk about how I'm trying to give back to people. So I'm, I'm opening a charity called Blades for AIDS where I... <laughs> I provide you buy roller, roller blades? blades for guys with AIDS, <laughs> <laughs> which seems like it doesn't really do much. But, uh, hey, they love roller blades. Well, they already have roller blades. They the fucking problem. love roller blades. It would That's have how to be, you get AIDS. Well, yeah. it would have to be you would have to like maintain, like help them do maintenance on their roller blades. Yeah. Because, you know. Like, hey, buddy, where'd you get those cool roller blades? I have AIDS. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you, sir, for <laughs> telling me. That's why that scene in Big Daddy, where they throw the sticks the at stick, the rollerblades, that's homophobic. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Mm. How about Big Daddy? And it's a guy that has a son. He wasn't planning on having a son, but now he has a son. But he still loves to just get fucked in his ass and mouth all day long. <laughs> He's still yeah. a total fuck pig. That's good. And it's Pig Daddy. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's do all the Adam Sandler movies. Okay. Um, um Happy Gilmore. Mm, Happy Gilmore. Happy Phil- Fillmore. 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 And it's a guy that, you know, he wants to be a golf player. His ass player. is already pretty full yeah, of cum. He's got full of cum. He's like, "Keep fucking my ass. <laughs> Kill it more. I don't take my more. Fuck my ass." I got a hoo hoo. Put the jizz in my asshole. Yeah, you know, like that. Um, <laughs> little Nicky, but it's Uh-oh. little Dicky. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're small okay. ass. Yeah, yeah. That one's that one's easy money. Sure. Um, yeah. Okay, Billy Madison. Billy, Mad Mad. Fuck my ass. How about, how about how about silly, fuck my asshole son? No, silly Faggotson. <laughs> okay, uh. Yeah. And he's just, you know. Yeah, same just, voice I did earlier. Yeah. I'm a little thing. Sure, sure. These are all great ideas, guys. Um, uh, hmm. Spanglish. These are, the, these are all the brilliant ideas that are really going to help us break through into the entertainment <laughs> industry. What about <laughs> instead of re- the... Like really looking for groundbreaking, <laughs> punching up kind of stuff like this. Okay, here's punching <laughs> up. Instead of the wedding singer, the Brian singer. Right. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, yeah. that is good. <laughs> yeah. And he just fucking taking... children on the set of yeah, X Men yeah, too. About yeah. the getting heading singer. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, great stuff. Honestly, thank but you. Nick did just I appreciate it. it. I, I but it was that. that was necessary. I accept yeah. defeat. That was I the accept first. defeat. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna suck my <laughs> cock? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like the wedding singer. That was a good movie. Anyway, but I don't Very need to break our, our momentum here. Um, um, hmm. Was it Mr. Biggs? Was that one? Of Mr. Them? Deeds. Mr. Mr. Deeds. Deeds. Um, Mr. Mr. Bleeds out of his ass for <laughs> getting fucked too hard. You know what I'm saying? There we go. <laughs> there we go, brother. Mm-hmm. The, um, uh, the, um, mm-hmm. What was the good movie he was in that everyone says was good? No, no, Punch no. Drunk Love. Punch, Punch Drunk, drunk love. love. Come Drunk Love. Yeah, Come Drunk Easy. Love. Easy. Yeah. Come I love up. getting drunk off cum and then <laughs> punching my boyfriend for not coming enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good parody Yo, title. Nice and concise. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is really getting me right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is really this funny. Is my to favorite bit we've this ever is done. really funny to me right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm high off my big win against the post office. Yeah, yeah brother. you told him, dude. Yeah. They're going to make you postmaster general. Yeah. At more like ass master general, you know. 
lick my you ass. You have to like be racist stamp. to be the postmaster, right? Yep. I thought they only staffed that position out of the clan. That's right. Postmaster is actually. Yo, what's up with the mailmen that still wear pith helmets? Is that is that a thing? I, is that a, is that honestly I've, still happening? I have seen them. When I was in Austin, four years ago is the last time I saw one. Is, well, that's Texas do style. Pith helmets is that hot? Does it make it less hot? No, it's a, it's a, they made them for the military in Africa. Yeah, it's like a safari style look. Yeah, yeah does it make? But that's what I mean. Like, does it fucking out cool you down? What's pith? Pith is, is, is the it, part is, of the tree that's not the the heartwood. I guess it's like the younger part of the tree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it was the way a gay guy says piss. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Piss yeah, helmet. that's what he calls the tip of his dick is my pith helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a male man. <laughs> There's <two> double. Double. <laughs> double the fun. I can't wait to suck that male man's <laughs> pith helmet. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <clears throat> Oh boy, I just got back from Cleveland. I'm fucking, I'm fucking hungry as shit because I've been vegetarian, boys. Dog, I'm hungry, but I, I gotta wait till this goddamn mailman comes back out and delivers me my 140 pound weight vest. <laughs> that it's definitely they are the assholes for not bringing it to me. Yeah, some fucking guy with a bad bag has yeah. just lucky or fucking. <laughs> some That's tiny right, Asian woman. all the way up the stairs. <laughs> That's what you get for not dying in 9-11 with your buddies. <laughs> you could have been a hero and you chose to deliver the mail instead of being a fireman like me. <laughs> oh, man. Fireman coming. That used to be so funny. Fireman. Oh, that used to make me laugh so hard whenever I would hear that. Shh. Shh. Man, that was a great man. song, dude. Man. Shouts out Lil Weezy. I sold so many of those ringtones. Oh, that's right. You Fire were in the ringtone Man? game. Yeah, dude. At the mall? Who was dude. the biggest seller? Who was the hottest selling ringtone of the day? Probably Lil Wayne, dude. Back then? Riding Dirty was probably pretty good, too, right? Nah, fuck Riding Dirty. Well, I don't know, man. Chameleoner's a millionaire off ringtone money, dude. That story about him and Michael Jackson is so funny. Or Michael Jordan. Yeah, Michael Jordan and Chameleoner. Oh, uh, yeah. What happened? Uh, this. Well, we, it, the story it involves a the punch it, it line hinges is, on an N word. The, the, the punchline is the N word. Oh so. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Michael Jordan called him the N word. <laughs> yeah, a broke, Michael Jordan, a broke one, I believe. Like right? a notoriously nice guy. <laughs> yeah, he dresses so fucking stupid too. My man just got baggy ass fucking the best canvas pants. And yeah, shit. the Not zipper like on us, his dude. pants. <laughs> Stop, dress good as shit. <laughs> no, no, Michael. Michael Jordan's all about like. Uh, Acid faded Jenkos mm-hmm. with He's like got jeans with butt flaps on them, yeah, like yeah. diamond. It's diamond. always like where like the zipper of his jeans is like three and a half feet long. Yeah, yeah. it's always yeah. like a hockey jersey and then like. Uh, Oversized shorts. Yeah, he's black. Kevin J. Skate- Kevin, yeah, what's skateboarding his name? shoes. What's the guy from uh, Fat Guy? Skateboarding shoes is Kevin the funniest. Smith. Yeah, he's the black Kevin Smith. Is <laughs> Jordan? Yeah. What is it? Fat guy skateboarding shoes is the funniest. It's always the funniest look. I've never worn skateboarding shoes in my life. Really? Fat guys wearing the skateboarding shoes that turn sideways because of their weight. <laughs> oh yeah, it's awful. And they never have laces. <laughs> They're leaning skating. so hard. To yeah. one side. Do you remember those shoes, I used those to work, irises? I used to work at Papa John's. The manager was this fat guy, Phil, that would wear skate shoes. And he, like, never, ever, ever washed his Papa John's shirt. <laughs> so it was, like, <laughs> is there was, gross. like, baked dough on, from, his <laughs> bo- from the cornmeal mixing with his body. <laughs> it was just on the shirt. And then he, the shirt somehow went past his ass, and he would sag his pants. So his he wore, like, a size 32 pant underneath his ass and then his like whole body was fat so his like shirt went uh, like down and in oh <laughs> and like it, c- tucked into his tucked cheeks into, <laughs> so it, you can see his ass cheeks yeah 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 <laughs> i think i told the story about him on the podcast before i can't remember but one day me and another driver show up to the store and the store is not open yes yeah but yeah, yeah it was quickly what do you mean quickly say it tell again. the story oh but i told it already I think so, yeah. Yeah, we're like Maybe. we found out like hours later. Phil's like, "Yeah, I burned down my apartment complex." <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Like, but don't worry, my PlayStation's okay. <laughs> <laughs> salute, <laughs> salute to a true warrior, dude. No, having his fucking priorities in line. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and his don't dad. Worry, I didn't. I didn't lose dad, my like, saved owns owns the apartment complex. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's right. That's God. right. Yeah. 
He was supposed to be like the manager or some he was, shit. Yeah, he was just some fail son that lived in his dad's apartment complex rent free and he burned the fucking thing down. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not making money, but at least he's not destroying the way I make my living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fill up. <laughs> I like to imagine his dad is like also fat, but like a serious businessman, but he wears his clothes the, the same, same way. way yeah. <laughs> he's got like a business suit on, but tucked in below his ass. <laughs> Just a striped button down shirt yeah, highlighting yeah. his fucking Sagging. fat cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good look, dude. That'll make your butt cheeks pop, honestly. Yeah. You probably got a nice look at his cheeks. Nice little bubble butt. Mm-hmm. Mm, bubble butt. Bubble, bubble, bubble butt. Suck my dick. Eat my ass. You know you want to do it. <sighs> <clears throat> but, uh, fuck. Yeah. I just got back from the land. I oh, I guess. Say, so I like Cleveland. I hear it's tight. Yeah. It's a... On the see, Erie, I Lake see, Erie? I didn't see Mimi. I didn't see either of the guys from Whose Line Is It Anyway. That one guy from Whose Line Is It Anyway. Yeah, the other guy wasn't Whose Line. The other Ryan guy was in Office was Whose space. Line. Yeah, the other yeah. Guy was in office he was space. great. He was the next door neighbor in Office Space. Yep, yep. I didn't see Drew or Colin Ferguson. Um, yeah. Oh, that's right. He was the boss. He was the boss. That show had like some. That some show longevity. looked like a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, even if it wasn't funny, it looked like they were having fun. I loved it. I watched it a lot as a small fucking child. You probably looked a lot like Drew Carey as a child. I did. He was one of my heroes. I, I, all the black kids, because everywhere I went, it was like 90%. All my schools was like 90% uh, black, 10% white. Mm-hmm. And every time there was a new fat white comedian, everyone just said I looked like him. Like Ralphie I was the funny May? the fat guy. Yeah. yeah. I got R- Ralphie May. I got Drew Carey. I got... Jack Black. Uh huh. I got uh, Kevin James was a big one. Yeah. And I would take that. Did you I, get Farley? I got. Well, Were you a falling a down guy? Did, Did you ever, ever do say that for my laughs? My man looked like a fam. What? No one, ever, <laughs> <laughs> no one ever said my man looked like a fam. Oh, can I just say, so it's not buried at the end of the episode. Our Funny Moms on the 11th next week is our last one of the year. And we're not back until the fourth week of January because they have some sort of. Oh, event. shit, really? Yeah, because. The fourth, uh, the fourth one this this month is Christmas. So, right, the eleventh is our fi- our finale for New York for the year, and then we're off. For and we a got month. Tim Dillon will be on that show. We haven't booked the rest of it, but I thought you said Yams is on it. No, nah, she can't do she it. She can't do it. Uh, yeah. So Tim Dillon will be there, and then we're gonna we're gonna book It'll it. It'll be fast. a hot ass. We're gonna lineup. have like a lot of also on the twenty second. I guess we're doing plugs in DC, now for some yeah. reason. Uh, the Black Cat. In I just DC. wanted to highlight. Uh, that'll be our live show And we've got some surprises for you A.K.A. we're gonna fuck Adam live on stage Yeah, we're gonna I've agreed to do it for comedy We're gonna try <laughs> to do the podcast live And peter out every 15 minutes <laughs> And then it's gonna be the worst show <laughs> That they've ever put on No, nah, it's gonna be good, dude You think like uh, Sometimes I like to imagine Like Gigi Allen just like Ran out of songs one time And then he was like I don't know what to do <laughs> And, and that's why He started eating and poop shitting. And I started shitting In his hand and eating it And people were like Yeah And he's like That's it That's my thing He's getting fisted on stage like and He's like playing A fucking ukulele It's completely different music <laughs> He's like, he's like Going to manager's office and I love having sex Right Yeah he's right. going to manager's office He's like I've got an act for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy, do we have it. <laughs> this is going to be top of the pops, let me tell you. Fuck kids. What, didn't he have a song? I was like, The Aristocrats is the yourself stupidest to kids. fucking movie, dude. Yeah. The documentary. That is such a stupid fucking movie. Yeah. Well, it's fine. It's just stop pretending it's anything that's like, you know, stop pretending it's like art or anything. Yeah. It's just I'll, like, guess who's outside? Uh oh. Mail time? Uh, mail, the mail. Mail time. Mail motherfucking man. All right, let's take a break and then we'll come back. Well, well he's I'll, not. Yeah, I'm just not gonna here run yet. downstairs real quick. I'll I'll okay. go down there and handle this shit. I'll go right. back. All right, Nick is running downstairs like it's Christmas morning right now, so he can get, his, get his fucking weight vest. Hundred and sixty. Yeah. I I have. Have you ever Christmas. celebrated a single Christmas? I went up. Well, I dated a girl. I have to that piss. celebrated. <laughs> no, no, no. This is ridiculous. This is. All right, so. I've been left alone on the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's just me. Uh, this has been something that I, I've been dreaming of for a long time. So I want to say a couple of things. Um, one is that Nick and Stav are my best friends. And I appreciate all of the disses, the ownage, um, the insults that are hurled, hurled at me every week. Um, 
uh, and I actually have planned them. I plan them myself. I write them in an email the night before every episode. Um, you know, where Nick called me a a, a narcissist today. Um, I actually prepared that for Nick, um, and it was my idea. So if you are, hop on board that joke, that means you're literally just stealing a bit that I had written for Nick and stop. If your dick had a mouth, would you suck another dick with it? If my dick had a mouth. Um. Why? Like, would you like, do would it? I dock another dick with my? But it would. It would feel like it would be a mouth. So it would be like you're putting something in your mouth, but it's a smaller mouth. No. Why would I do that? To be cool to that guy. Would you do that? Yeah. If he asked me. Would you suck another guy's <laughs> dick with your <laughs> real mouth? No, but with my dick mouth. Um, it doesn't have taste buds. By the way. So would you? You just feel it going. You would inside feel of you, like but a, you wouldn't an object taste it. going into your mouth. I wonder what it's like to suck a dick. Yeah, it's probably uh, uh <clears throat> What does a dick taste like? Cuz you know dick and balls get like a st- like after like 6 hours after well, I shower, a dick and pussy balls is, smells. is quite a the messy affair though. Yeah, but I'm so accustomed to the flavor. Even, yeah. even I mean you've had a hot dog in your mouth, you've had a banana in your mouth. Is it like just like that? We know the the geometric, you know, the fucking I feel like it'd be like a hot demands. dog because it, it, it's got kind of a skin on it. Yeah, it would be a lot like a hot dog. I feel like I hear Nick yelling at the post office guy. Is he outside? Yeah, he's outside. The audience is really going to love this. We'll just fucking pause it. Fuck Nick. All right, we're going to pause it. We'll be right back once Nick has yelled at this minimum wage postal employee. <laughs> we're back. If you uh, notice a difference in my voice, it sounds more masculine. It's because I'm... <laughs> Now 85 pounds heavier than I was <laughs> yeah. prior to the break. Your balls dropped. That's right, dude. I'm wearing 85 pounds of hot fucking lead. That's right. He's wearing the fucking vest. He just did one pull-up, and he's winded from it. I fucking, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I could walk in that, so. Yeah. Props on that one pull-up. I, could, yeah, probably do, I could probably do three. Well, that's why I'm. You got to go max effort when you're trying something for the mm-hmm. first time. Oh yeah, I could probably no doing way to that. Avoid I know. Injury. I know. I could probably do three. I could probably do four. No, oh. you couldn't. Well, what would you weigh? Ten pounds? <laughs> what do I weigh on? currently? No, we add, you add eighty-five pounds to your weight, and you would be what forty-six I'm pounds. I'm about <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah, your asshole absorbs weight. It's like a black hole. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's sh- yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually hard because his asshole. Is constantly making a sucking motion. That's right. So it when he goes to do better. a pull up, his asshole is sucking him closer Back to the ground. Earth. Yeah. So it's it's harder. It's harder. Yeah. I, I forgot Thank to give you, you credit. Thanks for, for that. appreciating yeah. that. You're, yeah. Thank you for giving me props. Your asshole, your asshole is like a, that loves sucking is it's like an octopus's is this is it, I've lost track of what we talked about because we've stopped and started so many times. Was yeah, this James is our Cameron third time starting? Was James Cameron fucking an octopus? I think that was in our last in the in the one that's in the lost episode? No, no, the one that's oh, okay. we just did. <laughs> okay. Damn, I'm I gonna no be so idea. damn powerful when I max out this weight vest. Are you gonna wear that around? Are you gonna wear that on the no, subway just, and stuff? That's bad for your joints. To walk around like Yeah, that. I just wear it for the uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna walk looks. around and But uh, maybe your thighs and, and calves <laughs> will get like really big. No, just do squats. You for look that. like like uh, Delta Delta Force No, of. you just do squats for that shit. Are you going to be able to sit up from the position you're in right now sitting I'm on the couch? I'm actually mobilized. <laughs> you are? <laughs> there we go. It took a little effort. Yeah, I'm still... I, with this on, I still weigh less than Stav does. Yeah, but you, you're not as Wait, powerful. you got how many pounds on right now? 85. 85. How much do you weigh right now? I weigh like 157. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do weigh less than me. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I stay fat. It's not. It's for my health. Yeah. I get stronger. The oh, more, you do it weight like I you're always around. wearing yeah. a weight vest. You only do it to do pull-ups. I do it grocery store, having sex, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. taking a shit. I'm always fat. Yeah. So I could lose weight like that, but I choose not to to maintain strength and alpha. Yeah. Alpha dumb. Can you do one pull-up? I cannot. But yeah. that's because. Okay. Of the what? rest of my body's too strong. We should see how much <laughs> how much I need to add before I'm Stav's weight, and then see if I can do one. And then and then we put the when then we put it on Adam and see if Adam can do one. See if Adam I can do, walk. Can no, we? You, Adam has to walk up the stairs at Stav weight. Yeah, live. Yeah, live in my fucking. Okay, shoes, so I'm brother. I'm like 142. So we would add 100, 120 pounds. Yeah, 100, well, 115. You know. 
All right, let, let's go 120. I'll go 120. Yeah. I'll give you that five extra. I say 110. I'll be, I'll be. That okay, you soon. give me 110. Yeah. I could take the stairs. Yeah. I could take the stairs. No. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's now it's a hundred and yeah. You lost about half a pound on that <laughs> on that just, on that diarrhea out. on that ass trombone that you just. What is that fucking satchmo coming out of your ass? And I suck all my dick. <laughs> and I think to myself until I turn. What down. a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> the way you suck my dick. <laughs> the way you drink my pee. <laughs> the way you eat my ass. <laughs> oh no, you can't take that away from me. <laughs> Um. Yeah, you guys could never, you know, live in my shoes, dude. Yeah, it's a tough life. All this extra weight, but being morbidly obese, regular obese. We've covered this. Mm-hmm. I am not morbidly obese. I am the regular kind of obese. Um, but I have very powerful, a very powerful lower body as a result. And when I do decide mm-hmm. to shed the pound, which yeah. will be any day now. I will have the largest, most luxurious legs and quads and fucking <laughs> hamstrings you've ever seen in your life. You would look so fucking weird if you lost weight, dude. <laughs> we could do, you know what we could do is... Um, I would look good as shit. You know, like, a couple episodes ago when you were describing your Thanksgiving meal with your family for... Yes. For, like, it took, like, six minutes to get yeah, through all the which, food. Which, by the way, sh- took me into vegetarianism. We could do, like, maybe, like, a, we could cut that with, like, you... Wearing like a wom- like a older woman's costume, maybe a grandma costume, but you could do a whole clumps thing oh, of yeah. your family. I would love to. That would be nice, right? Hercules, Hercules. Yeah, you could play your mom, you could play your grandma, yep. your old Greek My grandma. My racist uncle. Your racist who uncle. Who says the N-word, it's yeah. not me. It's a character. It's a character. Yeah. I don't understand, you know, they have the bodies, they have this gorilla body. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we let them in the same schools, you know? That's my racist uncle. Pandeli. What's his name? Pandeli. Pandeli? Pandeli. He's named after Peter Pan? Yeah, yeah. Pandeli is a Greek name. I don't oh, have Pan. A, I don't, he's named after Pan? He's named the after... The goat legs mm-hmm. guy with the flute? Yep. That's pretty Pandeli. cool. That's uh, my racist uncle. You should go as that guy for Halloween next year. Yeah, it's just Pan. me regular. Oh, Pan the goat guy. Yeah, That's the goat actually not a bad guy. idea. Yeah, shirtless. Yeah, with hoof shirtless feet. hoof feet. And a he's also flute. horny. He's horny as shit. Super horny. Now we're talking. I mean, that's that's right up your alley, bud. Those guys fucked. That's that was Hercules's mentor in Hercules, the animated movie. Pan. He was one of those guys, a half goat guy, and in reality, he would have been fucking and sucking left and right. Mm-hmm. I'm Pretty sure they cool. sucked each other off too. Nick, your thoughts? Oh, I don't know. You're not a big mythology. Buff? I didn't think Pan was Greek. I thought it was the. I thought it was from like Pan's Chronicles of Narnia or some shit. Oh, uh, they, there's Labyrinth. some crossover. By the way, that guy that did Pan's Labyrinth, what's his name? Guillermo, Gu- not Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Guillermo del Toro. He's got a new fucking Gay movie. Gay Elmo del Toro. Gay Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck a cock <laughs> and then eat tacos. <laughs> sure. Yeah, why not? Because del Toro. Right, del Toro. I like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> means of bull, right? And he, I want to suck a bull's cock. <laughs> I'm Gay Elmo. Um, <clears throat> he's got a new movie where this thing's like compressing my <laughs> circulatory <laughs> system. <laughs> Should you take it off? I don't think you so. You seem like you're in distress, bro. I am. I'm. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I'm like choking myself out with this 85 pound weight vest on. <laughs> Adam, put your fucking phone away. Sorry. What are you doing? I on just your had phone? a I had an eBay bid I had to place. What was it? What was it? He's buying, I'm buying, he's buying antique coins I'm buying, again. Huh? I'm buying Oh, sneakers. you're buying you're buying uh someone's jokes? No, I'm buying ba- babes. 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 You're buying bathing apes? Yeah, bathing apes sneakers. What kind? Uh the babes does. 
I'm in the mood for a new tracksuit myself. Oh, dude, I almost bought one last night. <laughs> I mean, never mind. I've no, lost okay, interest sorry. already. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I want to buy, tr- yeah, I'm trying to buy. What kind of tracksuit did you almost buy? Let's talk about it. It was a Adidas, like, made in Japan. I took a picture of it. I almost sent it to you guys. Okay, right. well, that doesn't do anything on a podcast. I'll read it. So I'll read it right now. Describe it. It looked really I almost tight. Bought it's like navy blue and orange, which sounds weird. Oh, I saw that. That you is you know cool. that one. The Adidas original is made in Japan. I almost OG. bought one. This joint. This one. Oh, actually, that's not that good. No, it's it looks cool. like a Star Trek outfit. Yeah, it sort of yeah. does. You're look trying Star to look Trek-y? like Cap. My man over here trying to look like Captain Aspicard. Mm, My man trying bitch. to. But you're Deanna Troy. That's who you are on the show, Adam. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm Is she not. the one with the big titties? She's a Greek woman. That yeah. I used to think she was one of the hottest girls she's hot. in the world. She's yeah, hot because she looked like you. No, she, she doesn't look like your role model. My hair was never that <laughs> luscious and long. Adam's like, yeah. that's a that, that's me, a big breast. I always thought Riker... <laughs> <laughs> Riker and you I look very similar. You with all the big titty women in all media <laughs> yeah. growing up. That's, that is going to be me when I grow up. <laughs> uh, Don't shit. try to laugh at it, bitch. <laughs> Don't try to include yourself in our own of you. Good one, guys. Thanks. Thanks, I mean, bro. shut up. Shut up, bitch. Uh, <clears throat> that's right. I am a what, bitch. What, you thought... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those guys are the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep going, fellas. Yeah, everyone Ian get did, me. Ian does that. Ian did that with uh, with Lewis. Well, Ian has no, like... Oh, when Lewis threw the coffee. <laughs> threw his like, coffee. He was, that was like, so that's funny. right, bitch. Bring me my coffee. I felt bad Lewis for him. just threw the coffee on the ground. <laughs> I felt so like, bad for Ian the other night because he told me how his dad died and... I was just laughing in his face. (laughs) (laughs) Well, his dad got smashed. By a train. But, like, not hit by a train. He got smashed by a train. What do you mean, underneath? No, the train was, like, suspended from a crane, and it, like, swung into him. Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck? Like, Looney Tunes, like a piano? Yeah, he got fucking... He was flattened out. Yeah, he he got fucking... Wow. Splat. The last sound he did before he died was just, like, as an accordion back and forth. Well, I was just laughing, imagining, you know, the, the guys from the train company having to go to you know young ian being like i'm sorry your father was smashed <laughs> <laughs> he's like he you got fucked them? to death you, like, oh yeah and that's why ian's trying to get fucked to death is because he he thought that he could live up to you know those he, expectations what's crazy is have the only way he can inside. come now is yeah. if three guys are running a train i felt bad though i was true. trying to laugh at yeah. it and he was clearly sad he goes uh he goes he, uh, he's like yeah you know i mean you don't you really don't accept it or whatever he's like uh what are you asking him for? The charger. The charger. Oh. He's like, yeah, you know, yeah, but just I would, I would see homeless people and think they were him. Be like, you know, you really don't give up hope. Oh god! I'm like, don't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to laugh at you. <laughs> don't humanize this. Right? Don't make this the greatest tragedy of your life <laughs> that has clearly you? shaped the rest oh, of right, your exactly. completely well, fucked up. I mean, up. like, how fucking insane. Well, the greatest tragedy of his life was honestly him and his friend jacking each other off. Let's be let's be real here. No, that was that was all. No, no I'm just kidding. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> that's really sad. And what were you saying, Nick? Um, well, I don't know. I'm having trouble thinking now. <laughs> Thanks for vest you, off, know, you you have no, a hundred pound vest on you, and you're you're so exhausted from your flawless See? victory and over the, the all post office. Over yeah, the that's the real office. triumph. I don't give a shit about the pull ups. They I won. You beat you beat uh, yeah the the mailman was like why did you take a that guy was like why do you take a picture of my truck? I'm like because I'm allowed to, and he's like this is federal government property. I'm like yeah that means I'm allowed to take a picture of it. <laughs> also schooled his ass. Yeah. Take that, puppy. Yeah, you're out in a public street. You have no expectation of privacy. And, yep, you're a, and you're a celebrity. As a mailman, you're a public figure. <laughs> yes, so. As you're, mail, you're getting. I pussy. thought you were Corey Feldman. Yeah. <laughs> Try and prosecute that shit, motherfucker. You're getting a ton of <laughs> pussy all around town. Yeah. Yeah, man. If I was a mailman, I'd prob- I would fuck a lot. I would fuck every yep. woman on the route. Me too. I'd be like, knock, knock, knock. Yeah. Special delivery. I got your milk right here. The milk yeah. you ordered. <laughs> Actually, I used to work at a grocery store mm-hmm. with this old Bolivian guy that would fuck women in like the what? generator room. Yeah, he just he was like a fucking like in his early forties, this short like disgusting <laughs> Bolivian guy. Hell yeah, dude! That he was like, yeah, I fuck all you women in the back. <laughs> How does he do I, it? He went up. He was like, I, he, told, he told me one time. He was like, I went up to this woman. And I was like, oh, you like milk? Uh, what about chocolate milk? You know what I'm saying? And then she came in the back. And I, and she <laughs> that's not true. He, that's, I mean, that's what he said. Yeah, it's clearly I never witnessed not true. It. There was this other guy, Kevin, another old guy that worked there. I'm like, is that shit that Henry says true? He's like, 
Yeah, uh, yeah. He's like, one time he had this woman in the back, and he came out and he got me, and he was like, "Do you want to come fuck her?" I'm like, "No, I'm at work." He asked me, <laughs> "What?" The old guy yeah, was. Yeah, so yeah, wait, yeah. wait, wait. This isn't like he's not like bringing his like side bitches no, to no, the no, grocery no, no. store. These are strangers. These are women <laughs> picking up a can of garbanzo beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know what? I could get raw dogged gonna... by some fat <laughs> five two Guatemalan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You like beans? He's a uh, Bolivian. I mean, he wasn't fat, but you know. Oh, okay. He, he was he a, sexy? No. 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 <laughs> no. He was like a day late. He's a guy he who just, works at a grocery. He's a fifty-five-year-old man that works. He was at a just grocery a Bolivian store. pua. Yeah, he yeah. just had such incredible skills. Yeah. No. And I remember I, I went up to the manager one time. This guy Ricky, and I like had to ask him about something. And there's this woman talking to him. She's like, seriously, that is not okay. And Ricky's like, yeah, I understand. We will discuss this with him, and he will face consequences. <laughs> And then he's like, fucking, oh my he's, God. I don't know what she's, he's, she's talking about, but the woman finally leaves and I'm like, is that about Henry? He's like, man, Henry, fucking, that dude, yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's got to cool it, man. He can't keep trying to fuck all these customers in the store. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That is yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that shit was hilarious. Do you think it's like a Boomhauer situation? Like he just throws it out so yeah, many for times. Sure. He's got to like, he's got to sink like a, like one out of every two hundred threes. You know, that's I mean? kind of. I mean, that's like the that's it was the James Toback thing. That's the getting it's laid like thing. Like if you rape a thousand women, a yeah. <laughs> hundred of them believe it consensual. That was his quote, his famous quote that Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I used to have on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> In the show Thirty, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no you one ever, noticed. You ever hear what James Toback had to say about fucking? <laughs> Yo, that is insane. That guy was fucking. Oh, uh, yeah. In the back. He's your hero, isn't he? Stuff. He is. I want to be that guy. I'm gonna get a grocery store job and ask every woman I see meekly to have sex with me, <laughs> yeah. and they will all say no. Do you want to call me into the back? Also, like the, me? the machine room, it's like this room that like generates electricity and shit. It's, it's like, like a dangerous. It's this loud fucking, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Like a it's, dank, like yeah, scary Yeah, it's a scary room. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the kind of place like a middle-aged woman would want to get fucked, but I guess, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know That is fucking insane uh, Opportunity to cheat on your husband with Like I mean who Who will ever suspect that that Right like, there's no that is that will never Come back on you yeah if you want some strange Little dick And he probably didn't have a big dick he's a short guy Right 5'2 you said I, uh, No well, I, Adam said that Yeah I think mm. you said that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you called him 5'2 I don't know uh, But yeah He shout probably wasn't that short He's probably like 5'5 five, five or something He's a real ass dude of the week Real Let's ass give it dude of the week <laughs> Damn dude uh, I That is my hero Fuck Have you ever fucked in a place of business Adam? Um uh, I'm trying to think. I would jack off in my old, all my old jobs, but never had sex. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys ever jack off at school? No. Um, yeah, I used to do that in high school. What, in the bathroom? Yeah, in the bathroom. I don't think so. Like when my hormones were just that crazy. I remember one time I was sitting yeah. in class. You couldn't get rid when of you're the I was sitting in you science taking, class, yeah. and this other kid yeah, came yeah, in yeah, and my, who sat next assignment. to me. Yeah. And he came in and he looked like a ghost, and he had just gone to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "What's up?" He's like, "Dude, I just went to the bathroom, and there was a retarded kid in there." Washing his balls in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> and I like, you know, then as soon as he said that, there was like the dust cloud outline of me. And I was like already <laughs> in the back. But I didn't see it. Oh, no, you missed it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. Damn. Damn, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Fuck I'm Oh my god It's just so funny That it's like <laughs> that, that, that the, the retarded kid Thought that was part Of the process Was you piss right. And then you well, wash Your balls <laughs> Well he probably Got a little piss On his balls Yeah And it's like Well there's only One thing to, The only one way To rectify this Well when you're retarded Your whole life Is going to the bathroom You know what I'm saying <laughs> True. They fucking straight up Love going to the bathroom They get into it They pull their pants All the all way down, down. Yeah. Classic All yeah. the way down I'm all pulling the way my down All the way down <laughs> I'm retarded I'm, I'm pulling my Pants all the way down. Yeah. I'm pissing retarded. Oh. I saw this fucking junkie on the train, like singing that all the way, all, <laughs> all the, the way, way up. So, but he, like, he had horrific like scoliosis, <laughs> and then no. like a pencil strap beard, and like 
you, know, yeah, you yeah. can tell his body was just awful, but uh-huh. he had like a nine XLT or yeah, like a white yeah, yeah. or uh-huh. He's like, oh, yeah. you know, I'm fucking just <laughs> falling into people. Oh. <laughs> like, Shout out to Fat Joe somehow making a resurgence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for him. Him and dude. Remy Ma, they're on everything. He didn't Remember get lean claimed back? by the heart disease. Remember lean back? Of course, dude. Lean back. What a fucking hit. Poor, poor big pun, dude. He was fat as shit. Yeah, he was a about bad your person. Size. No, he was not. Yes, he was. No, that he was wasn't. funny when you posted that pic with Jamel and someone replied with that. That pic was not funny. That <laughs> was, <laughs> was very cyberbullying. <laughs> that was really what good. It was was cyberbullying. Wait, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> someone replied with that pic of Fat Joe and Big Pun at the VMAs. Uh, <laughs> they were both in suits at like a wedding. Or Me something. and Jamel looked very handsome. You and nice. Jamel looked yeah. cute, and, then and someone, we were being cyberbullied. Someone posted that pic where. Big Pun is literally 800 pounds. Yeah. And I think he was like 5'3 or something. I yeah, think he yeah, was yeah. not he a was very a good, tall guy. He fucked, though, despite he his... Had, he had Stav's exact stats. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. I, strong as shit. That was like... <laughs> Big Pun Big Pun was really... Was, was doing big things like during the... For when, the fat dude, when, he would when be a hero. Jean, when jean shorts, he was it was a very heavy jean shorts era. Mm-hmm. And then like you'd see those videos where they go back to Puerto Rico and be on the beach. And like he just be in the, these like jean shorts, which well, is you know, like, he didn't grow up fat either. He just he got that fat in like a four year time frame. Did he? Oh man, that must yeah. have been such a because there's pictures of him years. from when he was like twenty. Oh yeah, like in like Adidas tracksuits, like sort of he was like, like normal size. Yeah. He was yeah. Normal oh yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that picture too. Yeah. He looks like kind of a goon. Yeah. Um, yeah. dude, imagine how good that four years was. Just eating all the pastries. I don't know if it was that good. Cinnamon <laughs> buns and shit. Fried chicken for every meal. I'm about to throw up from this vest. <laughs> Dude, it's that's probably you, really pushing you know it. down on you. That's how you know it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it is really funny, your podcast like, with this song yeah, right dude. now. It makes you a better podcast. Yeah, Absolutely. It's true. It's, I've got it's ankle resistance weights on. training. Yeah, dude. And I've got a, one of those balls that makes your pussy tighter. You squeeze it or whatever. I got one of those in my ass to make my ass tight. Stop looking at your phone, motherfucker. Okay, it's just this... Sorry. Fuck your babe shoes. Yeah, he's looking at his fucking notifications. This boy is notification obsessed. He no, can't wait not. to see it's what this... all of his adoring fans have to say about his latest stupid fucking picture. <laughs> Which it's is a picture of you guys. Yeah, no, that's it's why it's the picture. good. I was shit. not looking at the notifications. Please tell us of you what guys. people are saying. <laughs> people are saying you guys look good. Yeah, Thanks. we do look good, man. Uh, but I was not checking that. Who's trying to get? Who's trying to go on a date with a man in a gray champion sweatsuits? The, com- the people that leave compliments on Instagram are fucking weird. Dude. It's weird. Yeah, I'd rather have an insult. <laughs> I'm looking to be owned. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason we're in business. Of course, here. dude. That's it's our a, bread and butter. It's a toilet spinning ah, around in negativity. Fuck. What are you doing, dude? I'm trying to pull a hair out of my pimple. That's how you express fandom of something is by destroying. The yeah. person you're a fan of's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. It's like when people tried to get uh, child protective services to take away Lewis's kid. <laughs> they <laughs> did. Yeah. Like as a bit. <laughs> as a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> the greatest bit you could do. That is actually a great bit. Yeah. No, Sick dude. Man. Being a radio man fucking rules. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Absolutely. Sure. That's why I wear a weight vest everywhere I go. Mm-hmm. So I know what uh, one day they'll take all my money away, but you know what? I'll take away this vest, and I'll be free. You'll be so fucking I'm, light I'm and sort of like a, I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Mm-hmm. You gotta yeah, rub me the right way. You right gotta way. suck me the right way. What was that about? Making her come? Yeah, I guess. It was yeah. Like her that. clit is yeah. the bottle. Yeah. You gotta, I you gotta rub my clit the proper way. Mm-hmm. That sounds th- like a good song for tweens. Oh yeah. Remember yeah, that? girls wearing fucking like baby. thongs and shit that would show. Yeah, oh, that was yeah. middle school. Was snapping girls thongs. Yeah. That was like the Whale game. Tails. Everyone. I never did that. Girls I, respect, show I was their respectful thongs. of women, dude. Yeah. I would go. I guess I, you did. I would go from class to class and be like, "Yo, I just want to say right now, I'm a feminist, and I got so much pussy." <laughs> 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 but, uh, girls would be like. But let me get that sweatsuit off. <laughs> Come over here, bowl haircut. <laughs> I hope the house keys around your neck don't get in the way of me sucking your dick. <laughs> you know he's coming because he stops quoting The Simpsons for two seconds. Fuck yeah, dude. My pride and joy was an alien sweatsuit I had. It, had, it was like green. a take me to your dealer. It was Hunter alien? Green. No, it was it was wholesome. But he, but he looked that way. That alien. Take mm-hmm. me to your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. 
I am from the planet. Yeah, big ass, hard ass dick. Is your sister still handicapped, Adam? She. What was wrong? With, she came she over the other night. She fucked herself up. Her what fucking, happened? Her knee yeah. got fucked up. Oh no! She's like she's feeling around better. like a disabled person. Yeah, but like two days Did later, she to woke up and literally couldn't stand on her legs. We, I went to the doctor ah, with fuck. her. Yeah. You, do you think you're gonna have to put her out? Um, we, we have an. There's well, a, sisters she are has like an horses, with right? A, yeah. With an orthopedic surgeon. They break surgeon. their legs. Yeah, I mean it's pretty pathetic that we didn't get her married before she busted the wheel. Yeah. Now she's pretty much useless. Yeah. You How's she gonna cook and clean with that? I have no idea. Um, that's what I expect of my wife. To mm-hmm. cook and clean her way through every disability, especially <laughs> her mental difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> that was my parents' one criticism of my girlfriend when they met her. Is that she knows how to read? That she does. That she doesn't cook and clean. They they notice when, she doesn't cook and clean. When would she have done that visit? I think you she did say that she doesn't cook to oh. my parents, and I'm like, well. Wow. They're like, we just want to make sure you don't become your the dad maid, was, Adam. Maybe she, maybe she thought they meant like meth. Yeah, yeah. Like no, the, cooking up that, br- the that crack rock. The definition yeah. of cook. Um, um, but your dad thought she sucked dick okay? I think my dad was attracted to me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you have to let him. get to peace. Yeah. <laughs> Prima Noctis, son. <laughs> Damn, yeah. somebody's been watching Braveheart. Yeah, bro, I remember Prima Noctis. Yeah. Dude, that movie just made that so up for that Yeah, there's no... Even back then, that's like crazy fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> like you fuck anyone could just fuck your wife on the wedding yeah. night. I mean, I guess you could do that. Probably if you're a lord, you could do whatever you wanted. But yeah, I wish sure. I was an earl or a duke or the yeah. duke of earl. You thought you know? if you were landed gentry, yeah, yeah, dude. you had serfs living on your property. Uh, how about pussy the gentry? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Like a British pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, whores. Yes, come oh, over here. Bust it wide open for a real one. I own Bust all it. the all the slags in East Pussex. <laughs> <laughs> Each and every one, I I take I take notice of and I put in my pocket. It's it. All right, all right. Let me see that little fat pussy. Cheerio, governor. <laughs> there has to funny is Brit- no British person says governor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it it's like all of our impressions. Governor. Everyone always does. <laughs> When Chris told us he was moving, we were just... Oh, yeah, we just <laughs> roasted his gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads, when I'm off. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, our Hip-hop. British friend got kicked out of America. Yeah, shout out to Chris Milner. He got a raw deal from the, the green government. card service or whatever yeah, that well, is. Well, you know, maybe you shouldn't be a criminal, man. Yeah, that's what you want to talk about, how hard it is to be a minority in comedy? Try being a British man. <laughs> yep, that's the hardest. That's the hardest. Yeah. Uh, you bomb a couple setting. open mics, it will kick your ass right out of this. <laughs> yep. You know your podcast doesn't pop off. You get the boot. <laughs> you don't want to know what John All Oliver back had to, to Jolly do. Jolly governor. Oh yeah, John Oliver had to suck so much dick to stay Dude, in the John country. John Oliver is HIV positive now <laughs> from getting a career. Oh yep. you know, shit! Not not by sin. The the. The traditional way. He roasted sure. uh, <laughs> sin by the by punishment, the, gay cancer by I the holy pursuit of of monetary gains. Yep, which is smiled upon by the Bible and God. <laughs> John Oliver just roasted um, Dustin Hoffman in public. Did he? Yeah. He was like, his real name is Hoffberg. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're behind him. it all. They control the whole yeah. media. <laughs> Make uh, Dustin Hoffberg again. <laughs> About the sexual <laughs> allegations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then people are now posting and saying, this, this is how men have to act in public now. Right, right, right. They have to call out anyone's sexual allegations. even on. Well, the s- then we couldn't be friends with you, Adam, if that was the case. Yeah. Listen, I'm the only one that doesn't have allegations out of the three of us. <laughs> no, no chance. Yes, that's not, that's true. Who are mine and Nick's allegations? Nick's allegation? I don't even want to get into that because it's an open pending case. Uh huh. Your allegations. Name? You, you, <laughs> you saw a woman walk onto the train and you just started barking at her. Mm-hmm, that's yeah. true. <laughs> I, I make no bouts. You about did a that. woof woof at like, her. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Doggy hungry for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I started sniffing her pussy. <laughs> yep. You're like, I yeah, didn't but actually touch her. That's what but courting is. You can't is. sniff a pussy. That's what courting is, dude. That's. <laughs> yeah. Started making that I, sound. It's, I court women with a series of air horns <laughs> at different volumes. That's right. That's the kind of bitch I like, because a woman that responds to 
frequencies. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Brown yeah, sound. Yeah. You know, she's out on the a town. Severely mentally she's disabled. Looking, woman. She's looking sexy. You know, all of a sudden, blah. You know, and she's like, "What's that?" Yeah. You know? And then she, she looks she's over. Filled her pants with my, shit. Yeah, they're completely filled she's, with shit. And so she's vulnerable. You get her vulnerable by yeah. duking her pants by playing brown sound in mm-hmm. her ear. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. I, I, I was being serious. Now you've turned this into some cruel joke about the mentally disabled. <clears throat> so. It's not you about like the mentally tricking disabled. people into shit oh, in their yeah, pants. Exactly. I'm saying that there is a sound okay. that makes people well, poop man, their pants. Come on, dude. Dude, this show, like, we have to work so hard. To fend off this criticism that we're not socialists, that uh-huh. we're not, you yeah. know, the leading voice of the left. <laughs> yes. And then you go and make some crass joke about retards. I know, didn't say retards. About stupid you fucking you just retards. Said it right it's about there. a sound. <laughs> you said it right now. And you man. make fun of them Those fucking for being absolute <laughs> mongoloids, <laughs> water headed <laughs> fucking idiots. These are not my words. <laughs> <laughs> it's discredit. fucked up that you say you all those dis- things. You discredit the hard work we do as activists. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing an 85 pound vest. Do you know For how hard socialism. that is? Yeah, so I know yeah. what it feels like to have a black man's bone density. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm trying to live the life of a of a yes. fat colored yeah. individual. Diabetes it's like running that through his coursing through his black veins. Likes yeah. me. And you know what mm-hmm. I'm going to do? I'm going to leave here. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do crowd work tonight instead of actual material. <laughs> and he's gonna be 17 uh, minutes late yeah. for his spot. I'm gonna blow the light completely <laughs> and pretend like I didn't see it because I was too busy laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so I can know that pain, <laughs> that suffering, and be and and solidify myself as. What's it like to the sit on... The Generalissimo of the DSA, That's once right. and for all. <laughs> Make a lot of logical they're trying to. They're trying to... There's, there's a coup happening in the DSA. They're trying to come for you, dude? They're trying to come for me, but... Your presidency? You? Look, dude, I invented socialism. Uh-huh. So true. You will never come for me. I heard Brandon Wardell do. Oh, is Brandon Wardell <laughs> stealing <laughs> that bit now? I think he did, like, a couple months ago. Did Are he? you serious? Yeah. I invented socialism. That's incredible. Yeah. That's wild. Maybe he will do a pedophile special on his podcast now. Hopefully. He'll do like a frantic three episodes in a row <laughs> where it's all about pedophilia. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know he will. We got five minutes. Beautiful. I got five inches for you, pal. Oh, man. I feel awful. <laughs> From this weight vest weighing yeah, down dude, on your stomach and chest. It's crushing my body. Yeah. It doesn't look very comfortable. Yeah. But well, you all do the look pretty badass. All the weight's say. in the front. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Kind of like my dick. Oh, so you can get up. Kind of like my dick. I didn't feel the back. It's just I, the head. I got to load something in the back to balance it out. I, I can load something in the back. Oh, that's why you're always falling forward? Stop. My dick is. Because your dick is so heavy. So heavy. And hard. Well, just the top is heavy. The head? The just, middle just is just not the pith hard. Helmet. The pith helmet. He doesn't have a helmet, dude. <laughs> He's yeah. got a beanie. I do. He's yeah. got a sock, uh, sock cap. Yeah, your dick does look like Sam Hyde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swollen. Uh, yeah, if covered in acne, <laughs> fucked up pube hair. Broken glasses. Broken glasses. <laughs> it's racist. <laughs> it's very funny, though. It is yeah, a it very, is funny, funny, very funny, <laughs> very funny fucking dick <laughs> who has been un- unfairly attacked. Let's just say Hollywood isn't ready for your dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hate this fucking world. I hate the world where anybody gives a shit what Sam Hyde's political opinions are, and they yeah. can't just let the guy be funny. Um, yeah, that's a good. That was a funny ass show. Yeah, but uh, you know what's an even better show? Charles in Charge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I, was, I didn't like the comedy, but what was going on backstage? Yeah, I love how the, many. Kids? I love. I love the chemistry that the the adult <laughs> actors obviously had with the children. They have really good chemistry. <laughs> Suck my dick. Charles in charge was will, uh, Scott Bayo. It was called Charles in Chad, and it was about a man <laughs> who was inside of a young boy. <laughs> what was it about? A rich guy that adopted kids? No, no that was a different. No, Scott strokes. Bayo was no, like. No, it's a guy that has to. It's kind of like two and a half men or something. I think it's like who's the boss? Yeah, who's the boss might be one of the worst TV shows ever made. That was a. Uh, uh, what's his name? Tony Danza. Tony Danza, Tony Montana. Yeah. Uh, and Antonio Danza. <laughs> Tony Danza. Who, who staffs, uh, who does, uh, he works on San Gennaro Festival every year. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You go down there, you get a big peekaboo right at Tony Danza's big old mug. Oh, wow. But the thing about him is he looks like every other day ago, so yeah, you have no idea true. knowing it's him or not. <laughs> well, I saw Tony Danza at the pizza shop in fucking two blocks from here. Yeah. And then I also saw him at his bar. I'll be your Tony Danza. Danza for, for money. money. Do what you want me to do. I'll be your Tony Danza. 
Suck off your penis with meatballs on both of Well, what are we doing? Are we getting some food to Reno after this? Yeah, let's get food, dude. I'm starving. Um, I feel like we should have a riff or something. Okay. I want to do a, you do a rape joke debate between a woman who doesn't like rape jokes and then a guy named Pierre from France <laughs> <laughs> who's a rapist. Who's trying to rape her the whole time. An actual rapist. An actual rapist. Did we, weren't we going to uh, do a My sketch? name is Pierre Pussygetting. <laughs> and I love to rap. Actually, I don't think there is anything funny uh, about we do rap not have, jokes we because do not it have... is more of a way of life for me. <laughs> right. You should not be able to make rap jokes if you do not rape. <laughs> yeah. It's like how only like black the... men are allowed to say Niger but <laughs> <laughs> they're because they do it. That makes sense. Because they act sense. like that. So that's why they can say it. But for me as a rapist, I feel only me should be able to do it. Yeah, beat that, Lindy. <laughs> Weren't we going to do a sketch? Oh, yeah, where, where Stav was dressed up as Lindy. Lindy and you no. were that was that one of the rapist? first funny moms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's back, that was our In budding DC. friendship. Yeah. yeah, Back when I was like, I just drove here very drunk, and I have the best idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that was going to be so funny. You saw, I was going to eat a bunch of cheeseburgers. Yeah, you're going to get like 40 uh, cheeseburgers. You're going to yeah. eat them and be like, rapers raw. <laughs> yeah, dude. You can't do raw. that at the live show. I love punching down. <laughs> Lindy, she's a New York Times op-ed columnist. Yeah, that's a so short. She's rich, huh? Get. She's she's up. Are you dude. rich if you're an she's op-ed all columnist? The way up. Yeah, dude, they make probably somewhere around forty thousand dollars an article. What? What? I mean, of course not. Oh. <laughs> oh. How much does that guy, that uh, Tom Friedman, he probably makes a lot of money. Oh yeah, he makes a lot of money. What are some other schemes we can do to get rich? Uh, start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't think we're already doing yeah, this? I mean, the two biggest scams in the fucking world is uh, Patreon podcast and then voiceover commercial actor. That's and true. And I'm, I'm in both of those markets. And regular commercial actor. Well, nope. They sh- <laughs> fans took that away from me, so... That's because they're good fans. Dude, I they fucking, ruined. I saw my agent, and she would not make eye contact with me. Oh, no. Are you, are you fired? I know, I'm not fired. I mean, I don't fire you. They just they don't just give don't, you any yeah, words. Yeah. I, I, I haven't yeah. been sent out on anything in a while. It could be because like the holidays died down, but yeah, yeah. I'm I'm assuming that that shit fucking that they are mad. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. I didn't do anything fucking wrong, man. No, I know, but they're fucking animals. Agents don't care about what's right or wrong. That's true. They care about money, the green. Hey, mm-hmm. me too, baby. The bottom line. You know me, baby. Money. I say baby, and I make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. a rich man now. I have to say baby. That's right, baby. baby. Let me see your... P- baby, baby, you want to drive a car, baby? I got a car you can drive right here. <laughs> Why don't you come into my trailer, baby? <laughs> yeah. That's Kevin Spacey. Ooh, that's I'm trying good. to work on a Kevin Spacey impression. Mm-hmm. You had, you, no, you did it all right the <coughs> other day. You can start by sucking off children. And you maybe wanna, the, there's some, you know... You want to get in my ass, baby? <laughs> <laughs> you want to come in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a star, baby, or what? Yeah, in the context, I would know you're doing him spacey. Yeah, but I don't know this. But is he the kind of guy that you could just what is do it about? so well? Yeah, yes. Everybody can. The thing is, 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 is nobody thinks somebody can do an impression of somebody until somebody breaks the impression. Right, right, right. And then once the impression's broken, then everybody can do it. Everyone just takes right. a template. If you're the first guy to do a guy, yeah. then you're that's that that's the sign of a good impression. Sort of like that guy did Trump and did the China joke, and then everyone else, like SNL, yeah, stole Yeah, China. It. Yeah, everybody China. stole that yeah, fucking yeah. shit. Well, now he's- China. He's but people have been show. doing Donald Trump impressions. Wow. I, I, I thought I almost had Michael Shannon one time. Yeah, I was yeah. on a long road trip. And I was doing Michael Shannon, and I felt like I was nailing it, but there was no one there to witness it. And anytime mm. I've tried to do it since, people are like that doesn't sound like him. Molly Shannon, huh? No, no. Yeah, Molly Shannon, Shannon. Shannon. superstar. Cool. Michael Shannon. You smell your armpits, and you break into like a fucking a table or some shit. I'm a weird man. I'm a weird looking man. <laughs> I have a that. fish face, and people consider me a serious actor. That's good. It's I don't close. know what he sounds like. He sounds like the man that used to fuck your mom every no. day. Yes. No. The, you almost were going into a Cosby there for a second. No, it's similar. It's the, it's because the what rhythm. you'd have to understand <laughs> is there's only two impressions, you see. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is you go from one to the other. I was doing Christopher Lloyd the other day. Oh, nice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That was good. Yeah. What was it? Uh, where know. we're going? Yeah. Marty, where we're going, we won't need condoms. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone has AIDS. 
<laughs> if everyone has it, it's like no one has it. We just go and fuck without condoms and then go back in time. And then we won't have AIDS anymore. <laughs> and they're both in the hospital. He's like, I did the math wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. I guess. Well, that's, that's a good gonna, riff. That's going to have to do it. All right. Uh, one more time. The last Funny Moms of the Year is this Monday in New York. The last New York Funny Moms of the Year is is the 11th this Monday. Yes. Uh, and then the 22nd in D.C. And I just want to say thanks to all the cumboys that came out to fucking Hilarities. Shouts out to Hilarities, by the way. A great fucking club. Uh, thank you, everyone who came out in Cleveland. And uh, yeah, come to the live We're going to be doing more uh, touring and stuff in this upcoming We're, year. We're getting it all together. It. We yeah. are going to tour, baby boys and girls. So uh, we'll look, suck you up for soon. that. Also, I got a little hot animation that it's, I'm never going to finish. Oh, so yeah. And that. and the web series thing, It's Not Our Fault, is delayed but coming. I think we'll do, yeah. That's I think good we should, job, Adam, blaming it on somebody else. Why would you on, say that? It's, it's all my fault. It is all my fault. You really should. The I, anime, spilled, I spilled water on the The shit's computer. coming. Relax, man. Um, all yeah. right. We'll probably debut it at the live show, actually. Damn, dude. I really want some clam chowder. It'll Let's be a go. Christmas present. I don't want clam. I gotta get... I'm gonna get clam. Have you ever had clam chowder, Kalel? Let's get ramen. Let's get ramen. Let's go. Ramen? Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. 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 <laughs>